Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and I am back again with another video on the one and only SNDL. Yes, uh, I've been getting a lot of requests from you guys to make another video and to see what kind of prediction I can make on this stock for the coming days or the coming weeks. And I wanted to make this video because there also was a lot of news released on SNDL and also the fact that Tilray had earnings after hours and they had better than expected earnings. So I just wanna go and dive into that. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are on SNDL. There's a lot of things going on, so let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about before we dive into the Tilray news and the SNDL news is volume. So volume is very, very key when a stock moves. If there's a lot of volume and a lot of people are trading the stock, the stock typically has higher price movements. So today we saw a the low of the day was 172 and the high of the day was 196. So we basically moved 20, 25 cents and the volume today was very very low compared to previous days when we've seen much bigger moves so we can see that they traded about a third of the total float so again they have 1.56 billion outstanding shares which is completely ridiculous in my opinion and they traded not even 500 million shares so not even a third of the float was traded today and that's why we saw little price movement so if we jump into the news now, so Tilray actually after hours had earnings and if I go on to their um, page here, we can see that they're up after hours by 8%. Now Tilray actually had better than expected earnings and if I jump to this tab here, we can see that they beat the earnings per share by 12% and they also beat revenue by 1.74 million, which is very decent in my opinion, and their shares are up 10% after hours, but we can see now they're coming back down a bit, so around 8%. Now, this is also more general good news for the marijuana market because if we're seeing Tilray, which is a bigger company than SNDL, obviously, if we're seeing that company be successful in their endeavors, we can think that the whole marijuana sector is doing better than people think. So let's go back to SNDL here and we can see that today it moved around 20 cents as I've mentioned before and in my previous video I said we had support around $2 which we did but today it opened at $1.94 and we actually found a new support which I also mentioned in my previous video around the $1.71, $1.75 range. So because of Tilray's good earnings, SNDL is also moving in sympathy with Tilray and we can see that they're up about 5% after hours. Now if that's going to hold till tomorrow, we don't know, we're going to have to wait and see. But there's also a lot of news that came out today and yesterday on SNDL. So the first thing I really want to emphasize is that they have, like I said, 1.56 billion shares outstanding. So this float on this company is massive. So essentially, if the stock is trading at $1, this company is worth $1.56 billion. Now, this is crazy to me because these guys are not even, they're making money, but they're not being profitable. So to think that this company is worth 1.56 billion if the stock's trading at $1, but the stock's trading closer to $2, so we can see that the market cap is 3.24 billion and it's not being profitable. So keep that in mind and now let's jump into the news. So the first news release I want to talk about is actually this one here. The fact that Sundial Growth invested $22 million in this company called Indiva. And Indiva is basically a cannabis edible company. So if I scroll down here, the way they invested is actually they bought 25 million common shares of Indiva at a price of $0.44. Cents. So essentially Indiva is getting a total of $11 million in proceeds from this. And they are going to use this money, as it states here, to uh, improve their balance sheet, basically uh, remove their debt and increase their working capital. Now, they also plan to make uh, capital investments and primarily into the automation of their company. So I guess from an outsider's perspective, I haven't actually looked in that much into Indiva, or I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But anyways, I haven't really looked into that company. But for Sundial Growth, what that means is that they're taking a leap of faith into this other company 
for a cannabis edible market. The edibles market is still relatively new to the stock market, so this might be a good investment on Sundial's part. Now, the next news release here that I'm going to talk about, which is very, very mind-blowing in my opinion. So we can see that Sundial has filed a shelf to issue up to $1 billion in securities over time. And as I mentioned in another video, we can see that they regained NASDAQ compliance. Now, obviously, because they've been trading over a dollar for the last for 10 consecutive days, they've regained the NASDAQ compliance, which is a good thing for the company. So what I really want to emphasize about this news release is the fact that Sundial has filed a shelf registration. And if you guys don't know what that means, is that now they have the ability to do stock offerings to the public or to non-public entities and raise capital for their company by issuing out more shares of their company. So to break it down, basically, let's say Sundial Growth is trading at $1. They can go and have the ability to raise a billion dollars by issuing out another billion shares of the company to raise capital for their company. So yes, Obviously, Sundial Growth is not trading at $1. It's trading closer to $2. So that means that Sundial Growth, over time, can issue at this current price market or price point for the company, they can issue an extra 5 million shares of their company to raise up to $1 billion. Now, that is mind-blowing to me because obviously they're not gonna do this in one shot and this is over time, so they might do a 100 million offering here and there and then maybe a 200 million offering depending on what the stock price moves, but this is basically diluting the entire company by another, let's say 500 million shares if the stock's trading at $2 or 1 billion shares if the stock is trading at $1. Now obviously I'm taking this a bit out of proportion because they're not gonna do it all in one shot, but this is essentially dilution at its purest form. So if I go back to my quest trade here, and let's say worst case scenario, we take that SNDL is trading at $1 and they do the entire offering at $1. So the 1 billion shares at $1. This means that the company would now have 2.56 billion shares. Now that is basically doubling their outstanding shares. Now that is worst case scenario. So let's take a more hypothetical or more reasonable approach to this, which would be, let's say they're doing it at uh, $2 a share, which is relatively close to what the price is now. So that would be 500 million shares for that offering if they do it all at once, which they, they're not going to. But anyways, that would make the company go to 2 billion shares outstanding. So this is absolutely mind blowing because let's say it goes to 2 billion shares for this company. Now for the size of the company, it's, it's way too many outstanding shares in my opinion. And the price of the company is just not going to move as fluidly as it has because there's just so many outstanding shares in the market. So the last thing here, I wanted to open up the chart and just mention that as I said before, we closed at 172 today and then there was a little pop after hours because of the Tilray earnings. But as I mentioned in my previous video, we have broken the support of $2 and now we've kind of found a new line of support at the 175 mark. So if that line at 175, 170 doesn't hold, I'm thinking it goes all the way down to 150, which would be right here. And we can see in the past, there's no real consolidation here. So 150 might not even hold that long if it does start trending down. And especially with the dilution news, it might trend down quite rapidly. So I think the last support on this, um, not necessarily last support, but the next real big support would be around the 129, 130 mark, which is right around here. And we can see there's been a quite a few days of consolidation around this price target. So again, guys, I would be looking for more volume in the coming days. And if we see a movement towards the downside, I would very, very much wait until we try and consolidate for a few days before buying into it. And if we do see a movement upside, I think we really need to go and test that $2 resistance, which was previously support, as I've mentioned previously. So if we can break back up again 
towards the two dollar mark and then find a new support around the two dollar mark that would be ideal if you guys are looking for a short term flip on the upside above two dollars now again if you are holding this long term I would really really caution you guys I would recommend you guys do a lot more research on this company because to me for them having 1.56 billion outstanding share and then for them to have the authorization to issue out even more shares to raise more capital is just it's just a lot and at one point as I mentioned I think the company is going to have to split and do a reverse split to uh, decrease the size of outstanding shares they have. So anyways guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think of my analysis down here in the comment section below. And as always guys, please like the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.